Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at upgrading to Mavericks Server. Uh, in the previous tutorial I talked about how to upgrade to Mavericks. Uh, before you're able to upgrade to Mavericks Server, you've actually got to be running uh, Mavericks on your computer. So you may want to go back and watch uh, the couple tutorials I did on preparing for the upgrade as well as the upgrade to, Maver uh, to Mavericks itself. Uh, because you're going to need to have that done before uh, Maverick Server will show up and be ready for you to install. So once you've done that, uh, then you can come into the uh, App Store here and find OS X Server. And uh, you'll notice that uh, it's not a free upgrade like Mavericks was. Uh, it is $19.99 uh, to upgrade the server. Uh, you're looking again to make sure it's version 3 and it was released October 22nd. So depending on when you watch this screencast, uh, that's when you'll want to update it. And so we're going to go through the install process. Now, um, I've taken a look at some of the feedback that some people are giving. I know there seems to be some VPN issues uh, with the update uh, and a few other things. So I'm going to install it, and uh, I'll check it out myself and see what, uh, what happens. So anyways, you come in here. Uh, you can click the install uh, right here on OS X server and uh, for the upgrade. And so it's going to go through its process here. So it's in the process of installing. So once it's done installing server uh, and comes back, I'll take a look at it and show you what it looks like. Okay, so now it shows installed. So let me just uh, pop this down here. Uh, we'll go into launch pad. Here's server right here. So we're going to launch it for the first time. And so when you launch it, you get this uh, first screen uh, that basically just says to update to server on this Mac, you want to click, uh, you want to click on continue right here. Now, you can also select uh, an other Mac if you want to. Uh, if it's not this particular one that you want to do the update on, you can cancel it or get help. Uh, but continue is what you want to select. And then you get the software agreement, uh, the license agreement that you have to agree with. So I'm just going to uh, click agree right here. OK, and so now it's going to ask for administrator access uh, to be able to set up the server. So let me just put in my, uh, my credentials there. OK, now I just click allow. And so now it's starting to set up a server on the Mac here. You can see it's configuring the service authentication. It's writing the services, getting the service state. Uh, everything is going through here. And so once it's done writing all of that, I'll come back and uh, we'll see what it looks like when it's done. OK, here we are. Uh, the install finished. And uh, you're greeted uh, right away with uh, some server tutorials uh, that talk about how to do uh, certain things inside server. So for instance, if I just click this share files, uh, it has kind of a walkthrough on how to set up uh, file sharing and uh, actually goes through step by step to show you how to do that with uh, some screen grabs and, and those things. So uh, that's kind of nice. So if you're stuck uh, and you're looking for a little bit of help, uh, there are these tutorials in here that, that will walk you through those, uh, those various things, how to host a website, configure public access, you know, you come in here. And again, it'll walk you through what to set up, what to check, uh, the different things that you need to have to make that work. And so uh, this is a nice addition. I know in past versions, they had the little drop-down drawer uh, that just kind of told you what was happening with certain things. Uh, but this here uh, actually does, uh, does include a tutorial, uh, which is something that, uh, that really was needed uh, for those that are looking for it. Uh, but, uh, but anyways, just thought I'd let you know that those are there. Let me just uh, go to this. So here's the server uh, app. It's all set and ready to go. You can see there are some changes in it. Uh, it does have an access section in each of the areas uh, that uh, lets you know if everything's working or not with the green dot next to it. Uh, and you can also see down here that your services uh, are split into services and there's an advanced section uh, in the sidebar here. And so that's how they've divided the services. So uh, I'm going to go through. I'll do tutorials like I usually do uh, to show you how all of this works, but I uh, just wanted to walk you through the, the setup process. Now, one of the things I have been able to uh, verify, at least with this uh, first 1.0 build, is that uh, VPN does not seem to work remotely. Uh, you can make it work inside your network, but that's not really the point of VPN. And so uh, I'll be looking for some solutions to that and hopefully come back with a screencast to help you out. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.